Good evening and welcome back. The problem for this session is sum of sum of subset. Okay. Solved by backtracking and solved by precursor. problem statement is so given a set of elements and a number k find this is this is set okay or a list find a subset yes a sub in set such that such that sum of subset sub is k okay you found you found return return to Otherwise, return false. Okay. So I demonstrate this with the help of a binary tree. So let us go to paint application and see the demonstration. The set is the set consists of say three elements. One. Two, three, and k is given as five. Okay, so initially we have s as one, two, three, and k as five. Okay, first. So we have two options. So one more assumption is we we consider elements from rear end, not from front end. Okay, we have two options here. One option is take take three. Second option is ignore three. Okay, here add add and ignore. One option is add. Second option is ignore. Add three to the subset. So. So what are remaining elements in set? Then set has only two elements. Okay, and what is remaining k? Because you have already taken, you added three, you added three. Remaining sum is two. Okay. So in this case, ignore three. So what you have? You have only two elements. What about k? K remains five. Okay, so let us explore it. Second case, add two, and other option is ignore two. Okay, so if you add it to the set contains only one element, and K is zero. If you ignore, the set contains. One element and k remains k remains two. Okay, so you can further branch the right tree also. Here there must be one exit condition, right? Otherwise you will go to infinite level. The exit condition is if k equal to zero, then return return. True. Okay. If n equal to zero and k not equal to zero, return return false. Okay. Now here k equal to zero. So here what we return we return true. Here. Again, you have two options. One is add one, 
ignore one. If you add one, the sum will not be. Uh, if you subtract two from k, k is one. Okay, so s is empty and k is one. Here, s is empty and k equal to two. Because s is empty, this is false. This is false. So we have R condition here. False or false, false. So this is false. Not true or false. True or false, true. Okay. If this subtree yields either false or true, overall true or false or true or true is true. Okay. So let us see how this is implemented. So first, read number of elements of the set. It could be a set or a list. So let us call this as a list. Okay, now read the list. The elements may be space separated or comma separated. For a change, let us take comma separated values. How many values? n values. Because they are strings, because they are strings, you map them as integers. And and make it a make it a list. Okay. Let us take only one test case. If the subset problem inputs are array. Achha, one more input. What is that? K. What is K? The sum of subset, which is also an integer. So three lines of input. Our inputs are the array and the number of elements and the sum. If this is true, print print subset is available. Okay. So otherwise, otherwise print subset not available. Subset not available. Okay. Now let us write the function. Define subset inputs are array size and k okay if k equal to zero the exit condition return return to whether n is zero or not if n is zero and k not equal to zero return false okay if the last element of the array is less than or equal to k, then we have two options. Consider or don't consider. First one, consider. Name is subset. Consider array. How many elements are left? n minus 1. So what is k now if you consider k minus? n minus one element is the remaining k. Okay. Consider R R don't consider. Don't consider. Okay. So k will not change. Right? Else if this is greater than k, then then you solve the subset problem removing that last element so k will not change okay so this is solution so let us run this problem three inputs one comma two comma three three elements sum is five okay so again there is an issue with k Is this capital K it seems to be okay now three 
three elements they are one two three the sum is five yes let us try with other possible uh, to check the other path of the program so five inputs one comma two comma three comma four comma five um the sum is 11 so can we make 11 5 4 9 2 1 yes we can make okay now so have five elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 um can we make 8 Four two one seven five three eight. Yes, we can make. Uh, can we make uh, fourteen five four nine nine fourteen? Yes. Can we make sixteen? No. Okay. So I hope you understand it. This is demonstration of recursion. A good demonstration, I think. Uh, it it drives home the concept of recursion. Hope you understood this. Keep watching. I will come up with innovative, interesting, and important problems to help you cracking all coding competitions you may face. And please subscribe for updates. Okay, thank you.